Hi, this is Mark at Skywagons University. Um, this is another ED video. It's just very handy because we've got everything right here. This is the carry through spa on the 210s. This is the 210. It's probably like a late 70s, early 80s plane. The carry through spa is this piece. We're looking at the end of these. So there's one in there, and this bolt goes through, the wing goes on it, and there's a little washer on the end and a nut that slides in and holds the whole thing together. So that's been replaced. <clears throat> this is what came out. These things weigh, I mean, that's like 30 pounds of cast aluminum. This one has failed. And the reason why, if you can see closely, it's hard to see, but see that corrosion right there? That is like a mild depression. That's a mild depression. Not as much as the depression of the owner who discovered it, but that is enough to condemn this. And also along here, you can feel irregularities after you've sanded it and cleaned it to get all the um, glue off from the headliner and the interior trim. When it's clean, you've got certain tolerances along here. You've got mites, you've got different thicknesses. You've got to make sure these are all exactly right. So this one failed. This, interestingly, is the top skin of the plane. This is outside, this is in full view. So the forward cabin is here, the rear cabin is here, and that is like painted portion of the plane. So it's a very significant part of the plane. This one is a good one. In excess of $20,000 for one of these. And by the time you've de-skinned it, removed it, replaced it, re-skinned it, put it all back together again, you're probably going to be forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars to fix it. So if you're buying a two ten, make sure that it's past its spar inspection AD. And we'll be putting up a little sheet to say which AD this is, but it's very significant and it's on anything with no struts. See a two ten is obviously a cantilevered single, it's like a monoplane plane, no strut down to here. So the two tens and the cardinals, very similar. If there's no strut, they're in this AD. So just a quick recap. There's a before, it failed. There's an after, ready to go in, 20 plus grand. And there's one that's already been installed in the plane. So it's major, major surgery. Um, if you own one or you're buying one, speak to a mechanic, get the AD, look up the compliance, check it's been done. But this gives you a mental impression of what the whole overview of it looks like. And if you come around in here, you can look briefly inside the plane. Actually, that's, that's open. Look inside the plane and see what it looks like up in the cabin of the plane with one fitted. I mean, that is everything to do with the structure of the wing. And that lower arched part is touchable from inside the cabin. So, you, so the, the upper part is in view from the outside and the inner part is in view from the inside. And the whole thing runs right through wing to wing and holds them on. Significant. So just covering the basics, get the details from your mechanic, gives you an overview. Thanks for watching. This is Mark at Skywagons University. Look at the little subscribe button down there and click on it and there's a bell, click on that and you'll get notifications of other videos. And thanks very much for watching.